Lift. Uh, it's a film that came out 2024 January on the 11th, starring Kevin Hart. Now, for some weird reason, I'm supposed to believe Kevin Hart can pull off being a renowned uh, international criminal who's an art dealer and pulls heists worth half a million worth of gold and steel paintings like uh, the Van Gogh and this guy is incredible. Uh, that's what I'm supposed to believe. I'm supposed to believe Kevin Hart, who plays a character called Cyrus, who's a renowned thief, who leads a team of incredible, incredible uh, criminals. There's a pilot, there's a hacker, there's a safe cracker, there's a master of these guys, there's an engineer. All these guys take on two simultaneous thefts at the same time, stealing a Van Gogh painting in London at the same time fake kidnapping uh, an NFT artist in Venice and somehow while this all is going on there's this uh, Interpol agent called Abby Cladwell who apparently smashed uh, fucked Kevin Hart's character Cyrus for a week in London now she's pissed that he lied about his persona but somehow it's okay for her to investigate man she's emotionally involved with but whatever who gives a shit now surprisingly i'm surprised kevin hart actually acted a film or role where he wasn't funny he wasn't trying to be funny usually when you watch a kevin hart film he's always trying to be funny this was pretty decent the action wasn't james bondish the action wasn't james bondish but it wasn't you know john Wick or anything like that but it was decent he was a decent. He seemed like he was a man who knew what he was doing. He was giving out orders to his crewmates and they did the job that they were supposed to do. Overall, the movie was pretty entertaining. Now, the plot itself, spoilers alert, that I already spoiled it, so I'm very sorry about this. What can I say that will reveal the plot? Well, here's one thing. I'm, 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 I am apologize if I'm not saying his name. Yoxin is some sort of... Uh, master criminal guy who wants to be rich off everything you know this guy will will sell his mother's soul to make a few quick bucks so apparently he pays this hacking team or hacking a team of anonymous hackers called leviathan of some sort and these guys tell this guy to pay them in 50 half a mil half a billion in, in gold so he takes half a billion in gold he t takes it on a plane he ships it to another location where these people are supposed to get it and somehow, this uh, Cyrus crew, this Kevin Hart crew, uh, somehow uh, put invisible plates of some sort on a jet that already exists. And they do it all in 10 days. And bear in mind, I don't know how you think a plane, how big a plane is. I don't care how these, these dudes claim to work overnight like they ant. There was no God-given way that a crew of six... And how many are these guys? Let me see. Let me see. Look, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I'm counting these characters that are actually part of the crew. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven, eight. Eight. And then you, you include the guy who was actually working uh, 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 at the runway tower thing. That's nine dudes. So, and then not all, so nine people put metal sheets with little cameras on them on a jet in less than 10 days. Okay, I'll believe that. I got nothing to say, I got nothing to lie about. I'm gonna believe you, but hey. Who am I to say that these guys are a bunch of liars or something like that? Overall, it was a decent movie. It's something I wouldn't expect Kevin Hart to ever do. I've never taken Kevin Hart as a serious actor, but this was pretty serious for him in a way. So I appreciate the gesture in him. I appreciate the ideology. I appreciate the mastery of him trying to, you know, get out of his groove play a different role then i like the diversity of the cast there's a black guy there's an asian guy there's a, uh, a semi russian or a semi german fella in it there's a british there's an american 
I think there was a French person. I could be wrong. And then I don't even know the roles of everybody. Like, it was decent. It was really decent. It got a little tense at a point where I thought that uh, NATO was going to blow off a plane off the face of the earth. But I was like, oh my god, it's been, I, I knew they were going to come up with some shit. And they came up with some shit. Now the ending, I'm already spoiling the ending when Abby decides to join Cyrus' team because her boss at the Interpol tried to kill her. Not because you like that dick, Abby. I, I see you, I see you, I see you. But it's all cool. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.